Let's go back to the beginning of the pandemic. This delayed the NBA season. Players went into the bubble and ultimately the Lakers became the champions. This all became extra rest for one Kevin Durant, who got an opportunity to rehabilitate his torn Achilles and not rush himself back in any way, shape, or form. Take the longest time of any player returning from that injury to actually play in an NBA game. And what has that done? Wonders for his confidence and reestablish him as not only obviously an elite scorer, but one of the top couple of players we have in the league, regardless of how you are grading. And so for the Bucks to win the championship, they went through the nets in the process. Yes, they were banged up, Harden was injured, Kyrie was out. But Giannis is the offseason's valedictorian. He's number one in the class, okay? The way he balled, he made his free throws, he got a signature block, he got a signature lob. He brought the Bucks their first championship since the early 70s. But the salutatorian of the summer, that's Kevin Durant. How he played in the playoffs to turn around jumper over the left shoulder. We know if his feet were a half inch, a half size smaller, they probably would have eliminated the Bucks even being shorthanded. And then now to play the way he's played in the Olympics, how about he's the only guy in the history of Team USA basketball to average 20 points during one Olympic run? He averaged he's 20, also scored- dog. Like, He's also scored more than anybody crazy. else in the history of Team USA. And I just want to say real quick, when they lost to France, I said they would not lose another game and they would win the gold medal. There was a lot of doubters out there, but David Jacoby had their back the entire time. And it was because of what Kevin Durant mentioned, the unmatched skill that they have, and it's specifically him. He had an amazing summer. I think in the wash of the Bucks championship, we forget just how good Kevin Durant was in the playoffs. But in regards to the Nets contract, I love this for the Brooklyn Nets because they secure him. Because if you remember, like, him, Harden, and Kyrie all could have left after a couple of years, but now you secure him for four. Do you expect the other two, Harden and Kyrie, to also stay with Brooklyn long term? I believe so, and it actually happened in reverse. That's why I brought up KD's injury, because that injury now led Kyrie to be the lead domino, because he was the one that actually signed with the Nets first, and then KD, and then they acquired James Harden. So now that KD has re up you anticipate the other guys will do the same. And as you know, this is going to be great theater for the NBA for years to come. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jalen, I'm going to do the media thing and completely overreact to like a couple good performances. I think this will be the year that Kevin Durant not only wins a gold medal, but also wins an NBA championship for Brooklyn. But we'll determine that in years. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.